spermatous deference, which propels the spermatozoa from the epididymis to the urethra through peristaltic contractions during ejaculation. Next are the accessory glands present in both reproductive systems. These include the ampulla of the ductus deferens, the vesicular glands, the prostate gland, and the bulbourethral gland. These glands accessory produce the bulk of the ejaculate, or semen, which is the medium for transport of sperm. The ampulla that are associated with the terminal parts of the ductus deferens contribute to the volume of semen. The paired vesicular glands, formerly known as seminal vesicles, are lobulated glands that contribute to the large proportion to the ejaculate volume. Next is the unpaired prostate gland that produces an alkaline secretion that gives semen its characteristic odor. And lastly is the bulbourethral gland, also known as Cowper's gland, and this would produce the gel fraction of the ejaculate. Going back to our specimen right here, the male organ of copulation, the penis, may be divided into three general areas, the glands or the free extremity, the main portion or the body, and the two crura or roots that attach to the ischial arch of the pelvis. As you can see here, there is an S-shaped configuration along the shaft of the penis and supported by the retractor penis muscle. The sigmoid flexure allows the penis to be retracted inside the body until the reaction occurs. The prepuce, on the other hand, is an evaginated fold of skin surrounding the free extremity of the penis. 